one of the biggest excuses I hear of why people don't start an online business is that they don't have any technical skills. And I can relate because I have minus zero technical skills. I am, I am a complete technophobe. Mobile phones are difficult for me. <clears throat> when I first started a business online, I used to sit down at Victoria's laptop and it would just turn itself off. That's how opposed, that's how, that's how opposed the energy, my energy was with the, with the laptop. Was literally, sounds kind of esoteric, but it would just <clears throat> turn off as soon as I put my hands on it. And then Victoria would come up and she would turn it back on again and be sitting and say, no, it's fine. I'd done it and get at it again and it was just, pew, just turn off. So I can appreciate that can be an issue, right? But still, I just want to let you know that, that if there was a technophobe in the world, I would win first prize. I would win first prize as the biggest technophobe ever. Um, copy and paste, uh, you know, that to me that is like major achievement when I learned to copy and paste, you know. So, so what do you do if you are a complete technophobe? What do you do? Well, for me, well, get get a girlfriend who's technical. You know that helps, right? <laughs> uh, but apart from that, there are so many things you can do. You can get a virtual assistant in the Philippines that you pay two hundred, two hundred fifty dollars a month full time. You can pay someone in the Philippines two hundred fifty dollars a month full time, and they will. Um, you know, they've got like degrees in computers and things like that. And that's a good wage over there, you're doing them a favor. And you can chat to them over Skype and tell them exactly what you want done, they'll do it for you. You know, that, that's, so that, the, the, the excuse is just taken care of, just like that, just like that. Um, another thing, you can just go down to, if you want someone who can sit there beside you in person, just go down to your local college or whatever and, uh, and just, just put a notice up and you'll get someone a couple of hours a day after school who you can pay like minimum wage to for a couple of hours a day to do, do all your technical stuff. That's how you do it. It's actually very, very easy. You just got to be resourceful. The, the only lack is lack of resourcefulness. And you can choose right now to be resourceful, open your own online business. Having a lack of technical skills is never a valid excuse in this day and age when you can hire a virtual assistant on the other side of the world, you can just chat to them on Skype and tell them what you want done, and they'll go ahead and do it. Or you can go down to your local college and put a, a sign up in your um, local school, get someone, a student after school would love to come and help you out um, a couple of hours every single day and do all your technical stuff for very little, maybe even just a meal, maybe even just a hangout and just a, you know, some experience. Sometimes you won't even have to pay, pay them. Sometimes it'll just be like work experience for them. That will look good on their CV or their resume. Okay, so that's my tip today is blow all the excuses out of the water. Become resourceful. The only excuse people have is actually not an excuse. Just be resourceful. Because the only lack is lack of resourcefulness. Be resourceful. You can do it. Click on the link below this video and start an online business right now. And uh, no more excuses. Okay? Thanks for joining me. See you in the next video.